This is a Choose Your Own Adventure DUI Edition, part 43. Now this is interesting. I hadn't had anything to drink. I came to your window and asked you. How much have you had to drink tonight? And you said no. Not a thing, officer. Nothing. Then he asked you. Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? Which you decline, of course. You don't want to be doing that. If you have anything to drink, you definitely don't want to be out in your car dancing around. Then he asked you. Would you mind blowing into this portable breathalyzer? To which you also politely declined. Because you know those things are not accurate. You don't want to put yourself in that situation. So, you haven't been drinking, you didn't do any field sobriety tests, and you didn't blow in the breathalyzer. He has no probable cause to start an investigation or to continue this further. So you should be asking him, am I being detained? Am I free to go? And he really doesn't have a choice. Congratulations, you're going home in your car tonight and not in the back of his. A lot of people will ask, and I'm gonna do an entire section on this. They will ask, well, what if the cop is angry if I didn't do the breath test or the field sobriety test? Now listen, could that happen? Sure, but if a cop's gonna be angry at you, who hasn't had anything to drink, because you declined to do the voluntary test, you are already going to jail before this even started. That officer had made that decision, and that doesn't happen very often, if ever. So, know your rights, exercise your rights. If you haven't been drinking, you do not want to do any of those field sobriety tests, and that's the only reason you're going home in your car and not the back of his.